I'm presently learning Fusion 360 to see if it will do the jobs that I want and here is an example of something that um, it's a primitive uh, part of my workflow that I've been doing in SolidWorks and other CAD products for quite some time I've been unable to find a comparable way to do or to achieve the same end effect uh, I understand that the workflow is quite different in um, Fusion but let's uh, let me show you uh, what it is. These are parts that were derived from uh, openbuilds.com. It's a wheel and a rail, and the wheel rolls in the rail. That's the nature of how you build machines with their particular parts. Um, I've gone ahead and created a central plane for each of the parts for alignment. So let me create a mate. I'll go up to mate, and I'm going to align the center planes of the two and uh, I'll accept that and notice of, of course that the wheel is um, unconstrained from a mating uh, a rolling point of view but at least it's in the right orientation uh, what I'll do now is to add a, a tangential mate between that uh, V side on the roller and the, the appropriate uh, side of the uh, rail accept that and I'm finished and now uh, what you'll see is that even though it's not actually rolling from a performance point of view it is in fact in the track it's a very simple track it's just a straight track uh, but this allows me to then build assemblies uh, and new parts that are based on this particular location and that will move in a controlled fashion based on uh, the wheels mating with the track. Now if I go over to Fusion where I have the same two parts um, I wish I could show you what I've been able to achieve but the answer is really not very much because if I try to go ahead and do a joint between um, for example uh, this surface here and the mating surface on the track um, there's nothing to do. I mean it will not let you go ahead. Uh, you can see that I have in fact selected those two. Um, so I'm kind of at a loss. I would really appreciate some guidance. I want to be able to have this wheel find its home in the V as it does uh, in real life and to be aligned uh, vertically so that the uh, center plane of the rail uh, meets up or matches is coplanar with the center plane of the wheel itself. So that's my question. I hope you guys can help. Thank you.